From crop resilience to drought mitigation, the Japan-Caribbean Climate Change Partnership JCCCP project has already begun to yield dividends for Belize's leading income earner. This project has been providing innovative technology and applied training since 2015. There has been a significant amount of training that has been done to both farmers and uh, students. Likewise, we targeted several cooperatives as well and women group. I learned how to transplant seedlings from the seedling house and I learned how to mix the soil with the manure. The types of manure I use is cow manure, horse manure, sheep manure. We did some silage training, how to prepare silage and what are the benefits of using silage in, in a farm done by Mr. Padron. We also saw uh, how to prepare different types of compost, organic materials to apply. We also saw a training in climate change and organic planting. Una de las prioridades que, que yo aprendí. One of the priorities that I and the group learned is soil preparation, preparing the land for the planting of seeds and also to improve the quality of the seed beds. We are now able to triple our production. Triplicado la producción. We have seen that there is an increase of 30% in terms of adaptation of farmers getting into the irrigation system and trying to, to adapt to this climate change. One of the climate smart adaptations is utilizing cover structures for planting crops. These cover structure greenhouses deal with climate change because we, as, we can, as you can see, farmers, they can see that planting outside, the weather is not favorable and you have pests and disease. And now using these structures, you know, they have a longer harvest period, they have less pests, less disease, and the plant makes the crop more healthier for consumption. So far, we have um, a farmer that has adapted the, the umbrella type. He has constructed two umbrella structures for his own better practice. Yes, one through the project and one on his own. The JCCCP project also provided water storage facilities and grass seeds to improve pastures. By having this reservoir of water, we basically uh, are collecting and storing close to 130,000 gallons of water to at least save, in my estimation, close to 70% of our water expenditure. I ask every, everywhere for a help to have a well. They help me with one, but no water. 120 feet and no water. Suddenly one day, people from agriculture reach here. And I say, thanks God, and I have, that's why I have this. And I am so grateful with all of you who put a small part for have this. Because this helped me plenty. Like a 60 cows needs a lot of, a lot of food, a lot of grass, yes. My cows are still, still looking good. It's no loss too much. I think that helped a lot. Because of the seed of the brisanta that I got to and other seeds that I planted, well, we have to, to survive the dry season or how to feed them. Climate change also brings weather extremities, so farmers need to stay on the alert for flooding. It can be used as a mitigation action against flooding. It can warn people or people in the area to, to move out whenever there's an approaching flood. Apart from our surface water stations, we also intend to have a network of groundwater stations. Here at Moscow, we have the first um, groundwater well kept that measures the water table. The stations measure data every 15 minutes and you can actually track the levels of the river when it reaches a specific threshold that the hydrology unit will determine. Um, uh, an alarm can be triggered here at the Met Service and we can also send that data to the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO. And they would issue the warnings to the communities. We can use a wider range of data sets like satellite data, we can use our radar and the weather station data to run specific models and issue specific products like maybe heat stress for a plant 
and uh, give more accurate data to the farmers. For the youth who benefited from the Japan Caribbean Climate Change Project through training, there is a bright future in agriculture. I would like to have my own farm and show my parents and my villagers that girls could have their own farm and could do a living out of agriculture too. Well, the training should be continued every year because it will benefit us in life. It also gains a lot of money. Notwithstanding the challenges posed by climate change, Belize's agricultural future remains secure.